Hello! In today's video, we will examine five factors that can lead to shoulder pain. Shoulder pain can sometimes be related to an abnormal alignment of the shoulder blade. After watching this video, you will be able to assess the resting scapula alignment, recognize an abnormal scapula alignment, and identify the culprit behind the abnormality. There are five scapula positions that we will discuss abduction and adduction, elevation and depression, upward and downward rotation, anterior and posterior tilt, and internal external rotation. Okay, let's take a look at abduction adduction first. Scapula sits on average 5 cm abducted from the spinal vertebrae. To assess, place both hands between the scapula and the vertebral column. Mark the approximate distance with your hands. The standard width is about 5 cm or 4 finger width apart. But remember, it might vary depending on individual size and of course your own hands. Note the difference between the right and the left sides. An abnormal case is an excessively abducted scapula. Note the position of the right scapula. It sits further away from the spine. This dysfunction typically occurs secondary to weakness in scapula abductors, such as middle trapezius and, less often, the rhomboids. Let's examine the second position, elevation and depression. The superior angle of the scapula rests around the second thoracic vertebral segment. The inferior scapula angle is around the eighth thoracic vertebrae. To measure this, place your fingers on the superior angle to check if it's at the level of T2. Then place your fingers on the inferior angle and note its position in relation to T8. Abnormal alignment related to this position is an excessively elevated scapula. Note the right scapula sitting superior on the thorax. Typically, this will occur secondary to tightness in the upper trapezius muscle, but may sometimes result from weakness in the scapula depressors, such as the lower trapezius. The third position is upward and downward rotation. The scapula is typically upwardly rotated 10 degrees. To examine this, place the palm of your hand on the inferior angle of the scapula. The thumb should be pointing through an oblique vector resulting in a 10 degree counterclockwise inclination towards 11 o'clock. Also, don't forget to compare it to the contralateral side. Abnormal alignment in this case is downwardly rotated scapula. Note the position of the thumb. This vector is pointing to 1 o'clock, indicating a downwardly rotated scap. Now, let's examine the muscles at fault. Tightness in the downward rotators, such as levator scapula, and rhomboids may result in scapula's downward alignment. Weakness can also be a culprit. For example, in upward rotation force couple, such as the upper trapezius, lower trapezius, and serratus anterior. Next is anterior posterior tilting. The scapula is typically anteriorly tipped on the thorax, about 10 degrees. Observe this from the sagittal view by placing your hand on the scapula, estimating the oblique vector running along the posterior scapula. Abnormal alignment in this case is anteriorly tipped scapula. Observe an increase in anterior tipping. In this case, the scapula is tilted 45 degrees. This can be due to tightness in the pectoralis minor or the short head of biceps. It can also be attributed to weakness in the posterior tilt force couple, such as serratus anterior and lower trapezius. And last but not least is the internal external rotation of the scapula. The typical alignment of the scapula is 30 degrees of internal rotation. We refer to this alignment as a plane of scapula or simply scaption. Place your hand perpendicular to the ground and observe the angulation between the hand and the infraspinous fossa from the transverse plane. An abnormal position in this case is excessively internally rotated scapula. Note the excessive internal rotation angle here being 45 degrees. This alignment can occur secondary to tightness, specifically in muscles such as 
Saps Capillaris, Teres Major, Platissimus Dorsi, and Pectoralis Major. While weakness may be observed in the external rotation force couple, middle trapezius, and serratus anterior. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.